How many times have you had to sit through a lecture with a presentation and be really, really bored? Maybe you weren't interested in the topic, or maybe the speaker was boring. Or was it the slideshow was too overwhelming and you couldn't understand it? Or was it just too plain simple and boring? Well, we've all sat through awful presentations, but it doesn't have to be that way. Whether you are giving a presentation to a company or to your peers at school, here are a few tips and tricks on how you can make your presentations entertaining and more memorable. So, first and foremost, you should know your audience. Know who you're talking to. You wouldn't give a detailed presentation about quantum physics using large science words to preschool kids. Make sure that you what you're speaking about is appropriate for your audience. Use terms that they understand, and you get on their level. So, if it's business people, act professional. If it's middle schoolers, you can relax a bit, but you should still be mature. Next, you have to be interested in your own topic. If you don't care what you're talking about, why will people want to listen to you? You have to show an interest and a care in your topic. Be passionate about it. Now, there are many ways you can do that. One is don't stand still. Do not act like a robot. You are a human being with feeling and passion. You move freely to show your liveliness and emphasis on what you're trying to say. But you shouldn't move too much or it'll make your audience sick. So don't be afraid to talk with your hands, to move your head, and even to, if you have a space where you're giving your presentation, to walk around and walk back and forth. Another way is you have to make eye contact with your audience. It's hard, but it's worth it. It shows confidence and trust. You have to make sure that you can connect with your audience and looking right at them is the best way to do that. Finally, make sure that your voice varies in pitch and tone. Go louder when you want to emphasize something and softer when you really want their attention. That way it keeps them on their toes and they're really, really listening to what you're trying to say. Next, have a script. Don't think of what you're going to say on the fly. Having a lot of uhs, ums, and awkward pauses while you're presenting is really unprofessional. If you can't memorize what you're going to say, don't be afraid to read from a script. You can either make a list of bullet points for yourself or you could write it word for word. Just make sure that you are not looking at your paper the entire time. You have to look up at the audience and connect with them, and make sure that you also have freedom to move so you can have a lot of body language in there. There is no shame in scripts. You may have noticed that my eyes flutter back and forth. There's no shame, but I am reading from a script. I wrote it myself, but I'm reading from a script. That way, my videos aren't kind of sounding like this. Give them a star moment, or something they'll always remember. Now, what will your star moment be? That's up to you. Will it be your tagline for your company? Is it a specific point you want to make? An image you're presenting? Is it an idea? Whatever it is, make sure you repeat or emphasize it enough while you're presenting to make sure that they leave your presentation thinking and will reflect on what you said. Slideshow presentations, PowerPoints, keynotes, whatever. They can be really useful tools to help your presentation, but only if you do it right. Next week I'll post a little longer video on how to make effective presentations, but I'll give a quick bit here. So you have to make sure that they're easy to read, they make sense with what you're speaking about, and they don't take away from you. You are the presenter, your presentation is just an aid. Finally, have confidence. This is the biggest thing. Without confidence, you won't be able to convince your audience of anything. Don't let the fear of messing up or being judged get in your way. You can deliver this incredible presentation. You've got this. The only one stopping you is you. Thank you guys for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it, and I hope you picked up a few things on giving effective presentations. Next week, I will have another video on how to create presentations. I'll be using Keynote. Please feel free to comment, like, subscribe, and also check out my website to see the other work that I do. Thanks so much, and we'll see you next time!